Brooklyn Park is more diverse than it's ever been. In fact, more than half of the population is non-white. According to the city, one in five residents were born outside of the United States. 9% from Africa, 8% from Asia, and 4% from Latin America. And what's more, 26% of the population speaks a language other than English at home. Reporter Sonia Goins shows us how diverse demographics are changing the way the city does business. We saw maintain our cultures, but make sure we abide by the rules and regulations of this country. The Bob Wayne family is originally from Ghana, West Africa. They moved here to the United States six years ago and now call Brooklyn Park home. The peaceful aspect of it, and they are friendly too. So that's it. And also, uh, I'm beginning to like the weather here. Yeah. Matilda and Francis say they moved here to give their three children a better life. We decided to give our kids the chance to come here and then for the education here. Matilda was a teacher in Ghana and Francis worked in a bank, but they had to start new careers when they came to the United States. Matilda is now in nursing school, while Francis works two jobs. And uh, a lot of jobs, yeah. They both recently became U.S. citizens. We were proud of it because especially our kids will get that opportunity to be citizens because they were not born here. The Bobway family is part of a growing number of Africans who are calling Brooklyn Park home. In fact, the black or African population is over 26 percent, while the Asian population is slightly over 18 percent. And for Hispanics, it sits at 6.1 percent. So the city is changing the way they've done things in the past to be more inclusive. But I think people should know that. that Jeff that, Lundy has yeah. been mayor for seven yeah. years and says uh, he's seen the demographics the of the city change. Our diversity is diverse. So people tend to think of diversity, oh, it's this or that. But if you get beyond the skin color and you go into the where people are from, you find out there are people, Central Africans are different than West Africans. Lundy says the influx of different communities is a change for the better. As we've got more diverse, our crime rate has gone down. So our city is twice as diverse as it was. Our crime rate is half. And with more than 50% of the population in Brooklyn Park being non-white, Officials with the police department are now recruiting officers who are reflective of the community it serves. We are out there recruiting uh, cadets who are who are kids from schools, kids from our colleges, kids from our community, and we're recruiting them here to bring diversity to our police department. Efforts are also underway to teach diversity and inclusion to city staff. Through a racial equity initiative, uh, we're doing additional trainings and professional development opportunities. Brooklyn Park also changed its city slogan to celebrate the many different communities who call the city home. A united and welcoming community that's strengthened by our diversity. Jeff Lundy says Brooklyn Park's diversity makes it more exciting. Meanwhile, the Bob Blaine family say they plan to work hard and go after the American dream. Now we are looking for like a house to buy. In Brooklyn Park, Sonia Goins, CCX News.